Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Pisces. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. Like what your twin is feeling about you at this time. So it says, I only cared about what you could do for me. Oh, okay. So we're dealing with a selfish twin. I know what you've been hiding and watched you lie without even asking about it yet. Ooh. So... Either, let's see. <laughs> I wish I could hurt you like you hurt me. What is up with this? Petty arguments. What in the world? So why am I kind of getting like a blamer energy here? Like this person is feeling like you lied to them about something. They're really wanting to argue with you. I've been actually picking up on this. They're mad. I don't know. They're they're wanting to argue with you at this time when it's, it's obvious here this person was very selfish. They moved very selfish with you. This person's like hurting right now and they're wanting you to be hurt too. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> Back of the deck we have, it could have been so simple, but you chose to be complicated. I feel like, so either you guys know about something that this person did and that they've been hiding from you. And you like let, you like watch them or let them lie to you. Like you were like, what is this? It's like either they're feeling like they know that you lied about something or you know that they lied about something. And it's, if you knew that they lied about something and you let them lie, they're pissed off that you just like let them lie. Like they like feel stupid. Anyways, give me a few more rumors and gossiping. And we have what you require, I cannot provide. So mm, this person knows that, you know, you deserve more than they're willing or able to offer you. I miss your voice. Mm, give it time. And it says... I hate that you're no longer with me, young and dumb. So somebody was, like I said, immature. I don't know if I said that or not. I know I said they were selfish, but someone was immature. I missed who I thought you were. Mm, all I know is pain. All right, um, right, let's get tarot because this is already looking complicated. What is going on here? We have hiding feelings. Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. We have the Eight of Cups. Oh. Four of Cups. Oh, <gasps> hold on. You know what's happening here? <laughs> where does where does my collective fit into this situation? Where does my collective fit into this? The Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. Where does my collective fit into this situation? Yeah, Frozen and Page of Wands. Huh. Back of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords. So this is definitely a third party situation. Ooh, okay, so I'm going to tell you guys what I'm getting from this because um, it's a lot. Whoever your twin is, they're walking away from somebody. These messages that are coming out, there's somebody who desires you but knows that feels like they're not good enough for you or they know that they can't give you what you deserve, okay? I think that your person has been, they have a placeholder in their life or they have like a third party in their life who they've been using. They thought that they were hiding something from this third party, but I think the third party knew all along that they had feelings for you, 
that they were involved with you with you or something like that. They got caught up in a lie. They're realizing that you knew all along or that a third party knew all along. Because there's, yeah, we have rumors and gossiping here. There's somebody that, yeah, it could have been a Pisces cancer or a Scorpio because it came out with this hiding. It says, I know what you've been hiding and watched you lie without even asking about it yet. So it's this Queen of Cups energy who is who watched somebody lie, who knew about the lie and didn't confront the person about the lie. Just let them lie or whatever. Eight of Cups. Walking away, leaving the past behind, seeking deeper meaning. Petty arguments. It's like somebody is wanting to argue here and somebody is like mad at the other person. Like they do want to get back at the other person. But instead of arguing and fighting, somebody's choosing to just walk away. Now, this person, your twin or whoever this person is, they may be trying to say that whatever you've heard or whatever, whatever these rumors and gossiping is, is not true. There is somebody here who wants to work on something with you. Like they want to ask you out. They want to spend some time with you. They may invite you out. Um with the intention they want to talk to you about something somebody doesn't feel like they can let you go but this is yeah ten of swords on the back of the deck they definitely did but there is a situation ending and it's ending in betrayal or it's ending because of the betrayal how does their twin feel about them how does their twin feel about my collective we have divinely guided so this person feels like you guys are meant to be together like you you were you were guided to each other but they feel like this connection is faded. Tell me more. Mirroring. And we have the sun. This person feels like you have made them realize a lot of things about themselves. You've shown them a lot of things about themselves. Brought awareness to, to, to some things about themselves that they weren't really wanting to come to terms with or that they weren't seeing. What about this person's hoping that you'll return. That you guys can have a new beginning. Have, yeah. Ace of Cups. Yeah, this person has love for you. They're hoping that the two of you will come back together. They feel like you're guarded towards them now. Yeah, Six of Swords. It's like they want things to get better. Yeah, that's what they want. It's for things to get better between the two of you. So what was this? What was hidden here with this? What is it? Rips apart. Death. What about death? Queen of Pentacles. The Seven of Cups. Confused about what? nine of swords if somebody has realized that they have feelings for you but they feel like you are exploring other options or they're worried about that yeah you may feel like you and this person need to be apart right now you may feel like they were just a lesson or that they they need to learn a lesson or something like that. I feel like you feel like since you separated yourself from this person, you've been doing pretty well. What about the five of cups? Yeah, somebody's in regret, grieving, breakup, loss, regret, and sadness. You guys are sad over this person, but I don't feel like you guys have fully made up your mind about this person. It's like you don't know if like you guys just need to spend some time apart and then maybe things will they change and be different in the future or if like you just need to be alone you don't know if you can fix something with this person huh what is this third party energy though what's up with this six of swords the seven of cups and the six of wands It's like someone, it could have been more than one person. I feel like someone is ready. This person's ready to move on from the, like they're ready to let the options go, move on from that lifestyle. It looks like there's somebody that likes to get a lot of attention. Um, It's like somebody's in this energy where now they want to put work and effort into manifesting something with you. Like that's what they feel like. That's what the divine is guiding them to do. But what is up with this energy? Like I only cared about what you could do for me. I know what you've been hiding and watched you lie without even asking about it yet. 
I wish I could hurt you like you hurt me in petty arguments. What's that about? It's time. So we have divine intervention. No more running. It's time for what? Five of cups. For somebody to feel, it's like the repercussions of their actions here. Yeah, the five of wands cannot be trusted. And we have the four of swords. No more running. Yeah, I, I was getting ego with the six of wands. What a catch. Male ego resisting connection, wanting to conquer you, fear of losing you. Okay, but what about rejection though? For It's like somebody doesn't want to lose you, but they're also resisting the connection. It's time for what? Is it time for, okay, that's too many. <laughs> Change, Wheel of Fortune. It's time for things to change, faded events to play out in what way? That's Sag and Pisces energy. The Three of Swords. See, this card literally says heartbreak and third party situation. Okay, so what about it? King of Wands taking action. Aries Leo Sag energy to do what? See, differences. Family don't approve. Okay. Seven of Swords. See, somebody was sneaking around and doing something because their family didn't eat or their friends didn't want them with you. Or yeah, consequences of their actions for being sneaky. They could have also thought you guys were just too different. What does that have to do to you with you though? What do they do? They're like kind of suffering. It's like they're sitting in what they've done. It's like they're sitting with what they've done. They're, it's, they're not having fun. It's not over fun over there. It's like they can't deny the fact that they met, they really screwed up here. Like, it's like they don't feel, they can't run from it anymore. It's like, it's, it's, they're just sitting, they're kind of wallowing or they're just kind of sitting in regret, not saying anything to you yet, but it's like they can't run from what they've done anymore. Let's see. Um... There is definitely third-party energy here. I feel like you guys have been healing. I did see the healing card when I was shuffling. Um, somebody could feel like you're a missed opportunity, too. This reading is kind of all over the place. I don't know. Stop creating false scenarios that might not even happen. Just do the damn thing. So somebody was like talking themselves out of doing like pursuing you being in a relationship with you being all in with you because they were like making up scenarios in their head like worst case scenario they hesitated too much give yourself some damn credit don't be so hard on yourself chillax so some of you someone is being too hard on themselves some of you guys may regret how you how much you tolerated from this person um they're in regret for how they treated you I didn't know how far I was taking things until I made you cry. So somebody's realizing they took it too far. It's like they kept thinking that they could get away with shit over and over again until it was like the last straw and they weren't expecting it. Do I still matter to you? I didn't mean to say those hurtful things. Somebody was starting petty arguments with you. I haven't had proper rest since that day. Lord. Somebody can't even sleep at night. Stop taking BS and shitty ass offers. You're worth more than that. Yeah, some of you guys feel like you've been playing yourself by taking, like, settling for less than you deserve. You're like, why did I do that? I deserved so much better. Keep your plans on the down low. Not everyone wants to see you win, okay? Constant complaining will get you nowhere. Cut that shit out. So somebody is, yeah, complaining too much and not doing enough, taking enough action to change things. Quit being impatient and let the universe work it out. Your brutal, your, your brutal, your brutal honesty was too challenging for my ego. I didn't want to face certain parts of myself. What did I say? They knew you were right about them, but they didn't want to face it. So they ran away from you towards somebody that didn't know them on that deep of a level that couldn't see through them somebody that they could fool somebody that would believe their mask 
um, somebody that maybe even saw how who they truly were, but when didn't care and didn't challenge them to grow and change, didn't call them out on it. Wow. Be honest with yourself and take accountability. Sometimes you are the problem. So this person has not wanted to come to terms with the fact that they were the problem in this connection. So instead of coming to terms with it and making change, they ran from you and tried to paint you as the bad guy. Like you were the problem because they were, they didn't want to come to terms with the fact that they were. Yeah. Put an end to all of your self-sabotaging habits. Yep. This person's a self-sabotager. Um, so what's happening next? Spirit. Eh. What's happening next? So we have mountain climb. It says challenges, delays, blocks, not an easy path. So the T, shocking information, reveal gossip and rumors. So, at first sight, unexpected love, instant love, attraction. Special time and graveyard. Unforgettable moment, different destiny and luck. Endings, big changes, divorce, start. So, like, meeting you, you've been, like, a catalyst for them, and they've been a catalyst for you. Um, you both were not expecting to meet each other. You guys both felt an instant connection to one another. Um, but there definitely has been obstacles and blockages to the two of you being able to be together. Um, what is the T? What is this gossip energy? The T about what? Past life? Something about someone's past? Telepathic love, deja vu, past love, and soul mission. Tell me more. Shopping. Not sold, unattached, single, exploring options. I'm telling you, this person was not being honest with you about like, that they could have told you that they were single and that they weren't attached to anybody else. But what's the truth about that? Creativity, it says expression, inspiration, creation, unique and gift. What about it? One-sided, breadcrumbing, unfair, unrequited love and unequal. So... What does that do at past life, though? Waiting, longing, wishful, expecting their return. Was this person still wanting to be with somebody that they, from their past or something like that? What is this? There's something that's like, there's an elephant here. Like, I'm trying to wait for it to come out, but it's like, it's. I'm trying to wait for this reading to come together. It's just, it hasn't come together yet. What what is what is shocking information reveal gossip and rumors about what not giving up easily second chance and fight for it and prisoner trapped stuck restrictions and paralyzed memories past events nostalgia the past is coming back so maybe you guys are not expecting this person to come back or somebody's coming back to reveal some things to you Clear, they could be coming in to clear up some rumors. What are the rumors? Per, picture perfect and mature woman. So we have female influence, partner, feminine energy, flawless appearances, superficiality and image, travel, vacation, getaway, honeymoon and break. And we have defensive, guarded, protective, hard to open up to love. Yeah, it's like, there's like a weird situation going on here where like, I don't know if you and this person met while they were on a break from somebody else or something like that. Like, there's definitely third-party energy here. Like, they were honest with you about, like, when you met this person, they had a whole ass situation going on. And I think that they've never been totally honest with you about it. It's like this person got themselves caught up. Give me a few. I'm trying to figure out what it is. Yeah, communication, text, call, conversation, messages, interested, the family. You guys may receive communication you may find out that somebody had a family or you may get a message from their family member we have family oriented ancestry happy home and togetherness what about the family 
wedding they can make they could communicate to you that they want to be a family with you we do have wedding yeah partnership marriage serious relationship the bride this person wants to marry you the one choosing you marriage material yeah love struck look at this intense feelings in love head over heels devoted okay so what's the problem then or what's up with this gossip and this petty arguments and all this shit silver lining so it says a blessing in disguise unseen benefit good side sunny days and we have intelligence they've learned some type of lesson here that's made them realize that they actually had it really good with you worth the fight that you're worth fighting for they don't want anybody else to have you okay what about the past though because the past is an aspect in this situation Intensity, chemistry, desire, passion, and aggression. Blossoming, growing, opening up, bearing fruit, and maturing. I don't know. It's like this person's ready to, to do the damn thing. It looks like, but see, yeah, walking away, doing it big. So they could be walking away from something. Because somebody's like, because they know they have to be all or nothing with you. They can't just, yeah. There's another situation in the mix here. Because we have abandonment, leaving, moving on, and no interest. Or maybe they feel like they have to come in with a grand gesture because you're moving on and leaving them behind. Yeah, power couple. Yeah, influential, successful, and stronger together. Somebody feels like they're better with you. What about children? Witchy ways. Influence, spellbound, manifestation, magic. Inner child, pregnancy, kids involved, and youthful. Children. Abundance. And we have true gem. Somebody feels like you are one of a kind. Graveyard. See, what is this? There, this is somebody that's going through a divorce. Or they're splitting up from somebody that they have kids with or that they had a family with. Endings, big changes, divorce, and starting over. Let's see. Because there's definitely some type of third party interference here it's just it's not coming through very clearly so um i'm already this reading's already turning out to be longer than i wanted it to be um but i'm trying to find the damn deck i want to use oh it's way over here what is this third party energy okay my chocolate wrapper mm -hmm. i think i just saw children again What's the third party um, energy? Career and finances. It says focused on work, work affecting love life, trying to improve their finances. Clarity. Gaining a new perspective, mental clarity, getting rid of distractions. Marriage. Somebody is like very dead set on you. That's all I can say. It's like somebody's very like tunnel vision when it comes to you. Like they're like, okay, I gotta get my money together. I know I wanna be with the collective. I know I wanna marry this person. I know I wanna take things to the next level, but I gotta get my money together first. I can't have anybody distracting me right now. It's like they're very tunnel vision. See, but what is this? Workplace affair. Fooling around at work, having an affair with a coworker, uses work as an excuse. Sneaky behavior. And we have sacrifice. So, disappearing acts, phone silence, or off-running errands. Sacrificing too much, giving up their true desires, willing to sacrifice for love. What is workplace affair? We have ladies, man. This person was like sleeping with people at their job or messing around with people at their job. Yeah, playing the field, not serious about anyone, not ready for commitment. But caught. you. Got, somebody got caught and you knew, you already knew what they were doing. That's all I can say. It's like... But I also feel like somebody caught them or like, you know, look, clean up, deletes texts and calls, secret apps, having a second number. They could have two phones. All right, Kevin Gates found evidence on their phone, caught someone, said something. See, it's something about someone said something. They're finding out that somebody told you what they were doing. Like, I don't, I've been trying to figure it out. Like they, they're realizing that somebody, it could, you could know somebody that works at their job. 
somebody knew what they were doing like you already knew like there's a lot of rumors and gossiping going on about what they've been doing behind your back or who they were messing around with or somebody told you something they thought they were getting away with something here be flirting and they were doing something at their job yep crush what about crush fed up it's like they have feelings for you but it's like they weren't ready to progress a relationship with you and you guys got fed up it says the feminine had enough chose to find someone better cutting their losses yeah you're like i deserve more yeah travel romantic getaway business and pleasure trip long distance relationship what about travel separation yeah it's like you're yeah need time to clear their mind temporary break didn't i say that temporary break fight see fights stringing you along there is another person here guys i'm telling you it's like they were they were messing around with people at their work they had, a, they had a wife or a, a husband or something that they had kids with that they lived with or something like that that also found out about what they were doing. This It could even be somebody that lived. I don't know. It's something weird going on here. There's too many people involved. It's like, I told you, they could have been taking a break from somebody because they were fighting too much, but they were fighting so much because this person was, they, this this other person, this third party knew that they had other people on the side or they were flirting with people at their job. I don't know. And then they had you too. They were stringing you along. Exhausted. Look. Breaking point. Tired of living a double life. Too much drama on both sides. I'm telling you. Something is going on here. Don't know what's going on. Feeling lost. Fear of the unknown. Whew, this is a mess. This person was like had side chicks on types of side dudes. And like. They had a wife, they had you as their side person, they had side chicks or side dudes at their job. Like, this person is a player. I mean, we do have the ladies' man card here. And then they, I told you, they got caught up. You found out, the other person found out, the third parties at work found out, everybody found out. And look, they're playing dumb. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Pretending not to know the truth, do, doing anything to avoid change, avoiding responsibility. It's like they don't feel like they can avoid it anymore. Everybody knows now. It's all out in the open. Everybody knows what they've been doing. And I don't know. So it's almost like they're getting cut off by everybody now because, because we have boundaries here because everybody is finding out what they've been doing. This person feels played because either they feel like you knew and you just like let them lie or they feel that, that way about the third party or they feel that way about somebody. But as you feel like you guys are all cutting this person off. Yeah, we have almost there. Answers are closed. Don't give up. A new beginning is closed. There's more to the story, secrets and lies, not who they claim to be. Yep, this person. Yeah, fooling everybody. Selfish intentions, dishonest to both, wants their cake and to eat it too. Yeah, but this is your damn twin flame. Yeah. Who just wasn't sure about you. Like they knew that they felt the deepest connection with you, but this person. 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 